folks. Uh, second time trying the apple cider vinegar shampoo bar uh, recipe that I did last night. This time though, instead of mixing it in the crock pot, I am bringing it to Trace. As you, actually, as you can see, I've brought it to Trace here. And I am going to transfer it into the crock pot that is lined with an oven, uh, what do you call one of those oven cooking bags. So, um, same recipe. The only thing I did different with this recipe is I left out the sodium lactate because the bars I made last night, or the batch I made last night when I cut it this morning, it was uh, very firm and kind of crumbly on the outer parts. So this is a thick trace. I'm going to move it over into the pot now. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I've got it transferred into the crock pot here. And um, as you can see, it's thick like pudding. And um, I'm going to put the lid on it and let it cook. Um, yeah. It smells, I wonder if anybody else noticed a smell. Um, it smells sort of like beer or barley or something like that. Um, not really like apple cider vinegar anymore, but um, yeah, it's not unpleasant, but it just is def definitely different from uh, water. Okay, I'll be back in a minute. Hey, gang. Okay, it's been cooking about 20 minutes, and I've stirred it down. It uh, climbed pretty high in the uh, crock pot, and it's been cooking about 20 minutes. I think it's about done. Um, I'm going to test it the old-fashioned way <laughs> with a zap test. Um... I will cool this spatula off and then I'll uh, test it with my trusty tongue, probably like grandma did in the old fashioned, in the old days. Um, if it doesn't zap me, then I'm going to wash, wash my hands, wash my fingers, uh, see if I get any lather, and then uh, get ready to cool it down and mold it. I think I'm going to go ahead and turn it down, um, turn it off, and let it start to cool down. Okay, um, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go taste some soap. I'll be back. Hey y'all, I'm gonna share my zap test with you. Um, it's cooled down, the spatula is, and it's got soap on it, so let's, here goes. Just soap, no zap. Really soapy. <laughs> okay, no zap, it's done. There we go. Um, I'm going to get everything turned around so I can get uh, get it ready to get in the mold. Um, be back soon. Yeah. Yeah. Had some bubbles there. So I'm back. Mm -hmm. Last minute I decided to color, to see if I could color it. So I put a little color in the pot here, stirred it up, and now I'm going to put it in the mold. Um, be back. There it is, in the mold. I've mushed it, glopped it in there, and tamped the mold, tamped it down, you can see it's still a little jiggly, and this is what's left in the crock pot, um, the liner. I'm going to take the liner out and see how much uh, it helped or didn't help, and that's what's left in the crock pot after I take the liner out, so it looks to me like there was a little bit, a little bit of spillage, but not much, so crock pot will be easy to clean up. Uh, and, uh, yeah, there you go. Shampoo bar, uh, apple cider vinegar style. This, my recipe, uh, was the same as last night, I think. Two coconuts, one regular coconut and virgin coconut oil. Um, argon oil, which I saved the argon, some of the argon oil out to add at the end of the cook. Um, olive oil and castor, and I dissolved a tuss of silk in the in the um, apple cider vinegar, and uh, I think that's about it. So there you have it. I will cut it once it is um, cooled. I kind of want to put it in the refrigerator to cool it off sooner, but I'm going to let it cool down on its own. Okay, thanks for watching.